What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Darkness Falls back here with another eighth of Gazer video here, man. So, as expected, like I told you guys, I was going to drop a Oceanus video. Now, sorry for being late. I know the character has already came out, but I just wanted to give some people some time, you know, to see what they're going to do with the character. But I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on him and should you summon for the character. So, that's what the video description or the video title is going to say. So with Oceanus himself, I already spoke of him before, but I'm just going to say it again for people who have not seen the previous videos. Oceanus, I believe, is a great unit, and I think he is a great unit to have on your account. Now, keep in mind, this guy is going to be added to the limited pool, but, you know, certain characters, you probably want to get them now, not then later, because you may have a hard time pulling them later on. So me... I didn't initially summon for him because I don't really care about husband autos like that, but I ended up getting him off banner and I was very, very happy with that. So I did love him up at 80. I did love up his skills, but I didn't do anything else because I just finished getting Hera on my account finally. And I got her her key and I started leveling her up um, on my account because I didn't have her for a long time. But with him, when you are, you know, getting this guy, like I said, I don't really care about keys. So I use this four star one. You see, I did level this up to 60. But here you just use the recommended uh, emblems for this, which is this. So this is what you're going to build him with. And, you know, this is not translated because you guys know I do main CN, but it is going to show different on global. So this is what you're going to build him with. And this is where he's going to get most of his uh, damage out of. Should you get his key? I would say no. Because only certain characters I would say that are very up there. Like the upper extra line. You want to get those uh, keys for. But I'm not, I don't really care about this. And I'm not going to fill that down at the bottom. But this right here. You want to build this towards the yellow. Do the three yellows. And you should be good. But yes. Let's go ahead and go through the tutorial here man. It's been a while. Uh, he does have an ultimate attack with his son Enil, but they don't really go together. Enil is uh, he boosts win, and that doesn't really help his dad out. As you see, he uh, fights pretty dope from the hill. See my water clones. Pretty dope there. See my clones still there. This is ultimate. So his, you see, this was no complicated, uh, tutorial or anything like that his combos are pretty much you attacking and you dodging and you're just gonna keep that up that's it so you're not going to be you know having to try to do some crazy stuff like you had to do with Athena or somebody else his gameplay is very very fun and you know you can just go crazy with this character man so not too crazy there but we're going to go ahead and leave here. Like I said, very, very agile character. He's not like a slow character. But I'm also just going to show you all this because I know some people just didn't like the tutorial video. So they do have it where you actually play as him in the uh, story. Uh, it's 11. Next one over. So I get to play with him, you know, and Hades in here. And like I showed you guys, uh, click on this. This is him all there. It's him with the um, key. Um, it's what, of course, there's those. And then don't do nothing there. But here's the yellows. This is what you want to be using. So. Gonna go ahead and fight this little 
story stage. Now, it's not anything too difficult or anything, but you get to see him against a bunch of real enemies. That is not uh, the training dummy. Alright. So that's your boy Oceanus. Now they don't they don't allow me to do the team attack in there, so that's why you didn't see the team attack with E Neil. So yeah, man, it's just Oceanus in a nutshell, man. Like I said, very, very fun play style. I think he's pretty dope. If you do get the key, he will be, you know, more stronger. But just know you do have to dodge and attack with this character. Um, his animations are quite quick, but, um, you know, you don't want to get hit a lot. So it depends on what you run him in. So, like I said, uh, like I said, he's a very good unit. Um, great DPS. But um, like I said, some other people that's going to come during the first anniversary that is just going to go up there, man. So I showed you all them before. And I know a lot of people may or may not listen or save. I can only just tell you what to do now when she, she's not coming directly after, but she's going to be coming during anniversary. I did just recently get her key. Let's see. Yeah, 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 her key. But um, Ning Wong, I had to get her key. You got these characters are good. I didn't get uh, Jin Wu's, but I, I, don't, I don't need hers for her. But Harris, I told, I told you guys when she first dropped, you need to get hers. Sukiyomi came out, you know, she was first, so I've been had hers a long time ago. But yeah, man, um, it's a lot of characters coming up. I know Thor is also one of those characters that can be pretty, pretty strong, but uh you know she's also a, a character that will be added, added to limited banner so i end up getting her as well because i didn't summon her initial banner so like you will eventually get the characters if you do summon a lot not me i don't spend as much but i have done it like you know for anniversary and whatnot but not like all the time so i'm a light spender so i managed to get a lot of these characters off banner if i you know if i lost but yeah i wasn't i was happy because i got her in a double I got Ning Wong and her during the anniversary, and I did do some recordings on that. So make sure you guys uh, go watch those other videos that I've been playing. But yeah, man, um, he's a great unit. If you want to have him now and you just want to build towards that, then of course, maybe get some copies down the road. I think that will work out for you. I know you guys are star for different characters, but just know, you know, in Gotcha's power creeps happen. So a lot of these characters you may get will be obsolete down the line and you know unless they're your favorite character you know you may not want to summon for him now if you're just a metal person you'll just wait for the meta unit but i think he's a dope character i think if you love husbandos go for it and you just like the character in general man go for it so if you have already summoned um you know great if you're still looking to summon hope this video has helped you um you know weigh in on your decision now if you're going to skip or summon so like I said, it's, it's up to you guys what you want to do. But I just want to do a little bit more on that for the, you know, Oceanus video. Um, what other characters I know down the line, you know, when they come out, you know, we can do more videos like this. So do hit the like button. Make sure you follow, like the channel. That way I can, you know, continue to do videos like this. Thank you guys so much for your time. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.